Cleveland Heights is one of the most popular suburbs on the east side of Cleveland, and in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Living in Cleveland. Um, my name is Patty, and I make videos about all things Cleveland, Northeast Ohio, Northwest Ohio, and even down south. If you don't wanna miss any of my videos, you know what to do, hit the bell, hit the subscribe, hit the like, and leave some comments, I love them. Okay, one of the comments I received on one of my latest videos was, hey, can you take more video of neighborhoods? So, I'm not gonna talk as long because when I went to Cleveland Heights, gosh, it was a month ago already, where I did my footage, it was December 1st, I took a drive out to Cleveland Heights, and I took a lot of video of all the different neighborhoods. So, let's talk quickly about Cleveland Heights. Cleveland Heights is probably, 20 minutes from downtown Cleveland. It's very close to Cleveland, but the reason I say it's 20 minutes is because there's no highway to get there. And if you've seen my Shaker Heights video or my University Heights video, that's one of the my complaints being a West Sider of the East Side is you have to take like side roads. Now there is a new street, and I mentioned it in my last video, it's called the Opportunity Corridor. And that's supposed to be a thoroughway to get you to the East Side faster. Um, <clears throat> but back in the day, you know, the ways to get to Cleveland Heights, you had to go Chester, Carnegie, Superior, which are the three main streets going from downtown Cleveland. Um, and sometimes you gotta go through some hoods. So to me, one of the cons of living on the east side, just to me, is the accessibility from downtown Cleveland. But like I said, Cleveland Heights is one of the most popular suburbs on the east side. A lot of people live there, in fact, 40, over 45,000 people live in Cleveland Heights. So it's a pretty big suburb. Um, and when you think of Cleveland Heights, if you're a Clevelander and you think of Cleveland Heights, you think liberal. Um, I always, it reminds me of Lakewood. Lakewood's also a liberal, you know, right next to Cleveland. So you have, here's downtown Cleveland. On the west side, you have Lakewood. And on the east side, you have Cleveland Heights. So most of us who are Clevelanders, they always like, you know, compare the two of them. So I would consider Cleveland Heights to be very comparable to Lakewood. Here's the big thing though, um, <clears throat> about, and we'll get to that later. I wanna talk about taxes, which is the biggest deal to me about the East Side. Um, let's talk about niche.com. I always mention niche.com. Niche.com rates Cleveland Heights an A. And here's the thing that I'm noticing about niche.com. I think it's really, it really takes diversity into account. So <clears throat> other suburbs who have no diversity, they may still get an A because of other things, but if they're low on diversity, it really, it's a big deal, which I actually kind of like, because I get a lot of calls from people and they're like, we really want to live in a very diverse neighborhood. And we were looking at this suburb. I'm like, well, that's not going to be very diverse. So <clears throat> I kind of really like niche.com. It really, um, it's pretty accurate. Um, so here's what they say about the schools. It's a C plus. Yeah, the schools are okay. Um, and if you saw my University Heights video, Cleveland Heights and University Heights share the same district. It's the Cleveland Heights University School District. Um, and I think I mentioned before, I went to John Carroll University, just my freshman year, uh, and I was an education major and I did some field work in the schools, um, the elementary schools, and I think it's really just the high school that gets a bad rap. So here's the deal in Cleveland. <clears throat> I have a lot of friends, you know, and, and the biggest thing is, well, the schools aren't good. Like my best friend, she, you know, I'm not gonna say where she lives, but she's like, well, oh, the schools are just okay. She's like, well, I don't really care. The neighborhoods are great. And I'm gonna send my kids to private school anyways. So <clears throat> there's that. You know, I lived in North Olmstead and that was just my personal preference. My kids went to private school, but it, it was our religion and that was it. But you know what, they ended up, they went to high school in the public high school and they did just fine. So like I said, it's just personal preference, but the schools, according to the state of Ohio, C plus. Um, housing, B minus, why is that? I think it's why, because of the taxes. The taxes in Cleveland Heights are the highest. One of, it's Shaker Heights, University Heights, and Cleveland Heights have the highest tax rates in all of Cuyahoga County, over 4%, which is nuts. Out here in Lorraine, well, like I said, independence is the lowest, under 2%. So that really makes a big deal. Um, but people don't care. The neighborhoods are absolutely gorgeous. In fact, it's hard to tell the difference on some streets. And when I was uploading the neighborhood videos, I was having a hard time like, wait, is this Shaker Heights or Cleveland Heights? 
because they've the the neighborhoods some of the nicer neighborhoods look almost identical they're brick tutors they're spacious they're well kept um and then you have other neighborhoods you know it's a it's a large suburb so you have just like lakewood you have small little colonials you know in the inner inner ring of the suburb and then on lake avenue you have these beautiful mansions same thing with cleveland heights smaller homes also big large stately gorgeous almost mansions absolutely beautiful um lots of walkability that's another thing what i like about cleveland heights lots of neighborhoods you're not going to see any new developments like you do in avon avon lake <clears throat> even out here where i live big huge developments none of that because it's an older suburb so just beautiful walkable neighborhoods um let's see the median home value is one hundred twenty eight thousand dollars, and that's because there's a wide variety of homes so virtually any walk of life, you know, no matter what your socioeconomic status is, you can pretty much afford a home in Cleveland Heights. Um, okay, let's talk about some of the amenities that Cleveland Park has, or Cleveland Heights. Gosh, I am messing up today. This is my first video of 2022, so I've been out of practice for a couple of weeks, so please forgive me. All right, there's 11 commercial districts, 11 commercial districts in Cleveland Heights. I'm only going to touch on the three that are the most popular. The first one is the Cedar Lee District. And that's where you're going to have all your nightlife. Well, not all of it. A lot of nightlife. You're going to have the Cedar Lee Theater there. And the Cedar Lee Theater, <clears throat> it's one of those eclectic theaters. Like, I was just looking. I'm like, this movie I want to see, The Tender Bar. I'm like, oh, where is it playing? In Cleveland, it's only playing at the Cedar Lee. Now, it's on demand in two days, so I'm not going to go to the Cedar Lee, but um, I think it's the only one that has the Macbeth movie with um, Denzel Washington. So Cedar Lee, and it was one of the first movie theaters in the Cleveland area that served liquor. You could get wine, you could get a beer, which was like, we used to go out there just so we could have a drink while we were watching a movie. So Cedar Lee, and you have all kinds of different bars, restaurants, food. It's That's the place to go. Another big neighborhood, the dis commercial district, is the Cedar Fairmount, which they call the gateway to Cleveland Heights because if you're coming up um, Fairmount, or is that Cedar Road? I get confused. I'm a West Side. I think it's Cedar Road. That's the first thing you see. And there's these beautiful brick buildings, and you'll see it here in the video. But you have Barrio there, which is a really popular Mod Mex um, restaurant. Barrio is super popular. Night Town. It's like an Irish bar and it's like one of the biggest establishments. It's like the oldest establishments in Cleveland Heights. Um, this bakery. So, you know, Cedar Fairmount is a, a, one of these really popular districts. And then the other one, which we call it the Hippie Town, is Coventry Village. And you'll definitely see that in the video. When I was in college, that was the place to go. You have the Grog Shop which had live venues and there were concerts there. I remember my kids were going to go see not Justin Bieber, but one of those like boy, boy singers and it got canceled. They were so heartbroken, but like, and another popular restaurant is Tommy's, which is a vegetarian place, the Mongolian grill. Um, there was a sub shop, I think it was called Grums where you'd get these like big subs and just a really cool, cool place. Um, another cool thing about Cleveland Heights, especially that area of the Coventry, um, that's right off Mayfield. And when you just go, when you're going towards Mayfield, you take a left, you go straight into Little Italy, which um, I don't, I think I did, I did that video already, Little Italy, um, which is in Cleveland. So, and right there where Little Italy is, past that is University Circle, which has Case Western Reserve University. So a lot of college kids live in that Cleveland Heights area. In fact, John Carroll has a lot of kids living in the Cleveland Heights area, which also makes that part of Cleveland Heights pretty young because a lot of people who graduate from the schools there end up staying there or they're going to medical school because um, University Hospital is there. So you have a lot of residents, a lot of doctors. So <clears throat> that area, Cleveland Heights, is very very popular for um, professional people, you know, doctors and stuff, because Cleveland Clinic, it's right, it's so close to Cleveland Clinic. So if you're living in Cleveland Heights, you work at Cleveland Clinic, boom, you're there in 10 minutes. So I love the neighborhoods in Cleveland Heights. And the people who live, grow up in Cleveland Heights, a lot of them, 
you know, end up staying there. Their families are there, which is why I don't live there because my family lives on the west side. But probably if they lived in Cleveland Heights or on the east side, I'd probably stick around. And that's why a lot of people don't really care about the taxes. Um, they are like, we love the amenities. We love being able to walk to all the venues. We love the house, the housing there. You can't find these houses in Avon. I'm telling you, you cannot find these houses and wait till you see these neighborhoods. They're absolutely gorgeous. So without further ado, let's get in the car. Sorry it was a month ago, but it's a pretty crappy day out today. It's windy. It's January. You don't want to see Cleveland Heights today. And hey, my information's down there. Give me a call. Send me an email. Send me a text. I help people all the time. My phone was ringing off the hook last month. People are moving to Cleveland. And if that's you and you need help finding a place, call me, text me, email me. All right. Enjoy Cleveland Heights. Mm -hmm. 